Thank you for um, reading the scripture, Matthew 28, Nancy. This is the, the great story of the resurrection. In order to get into this truth, let's, uh, let's think about Easter, what Easter is for us. Easter brings joy. Easter brings hope. Easter is spring. Easter is new life. These are all associations I have with Easter. Easter is a wonderful family holiday. I have fond memories as a kid of finding Easter eggs hidden in the most intriguing places, you know, under leaves, on tree branches. But as with so much of the Bible's great history, the more we are familiar with it, the stra the, a strange thing happens, the more possible it is for us to, to tame it, for it to lose its power. I want to tell you that the first Easter, far from being just a peaceful Sunday afternoon in the backyard, it was more like what you would experience if you were suddenly snatched from your living room and placed on a bank three feet from the bottom of Niagara Falls, the thunder of the water roaring in your ears. The first Easter felt less like buying new clothes for going to church and more like opening your eyes to find yourself on the edge of a 300-foot cliff. The first Easter, the first Easter, it had impact. The power of Jesus' resurrection can be seen first in this scene when it was first revealed. The two women here going to visit Jesus' grave, they're interrupted by a great earthquake, as we just read. The ground was shaking. They were terrified. I've been in an earthquake inside a house, and it was terrifying. Then an angel comes down, rolls back the tombstone, sits down, and beckons them to come Look inside the tomb. Right after an earthquake, these women are asked to walk right up next to an angel. Imagine, an angel whose clothes look like the white of lightning. The military guards are so terrified, they look like they are dead. The angel tells them, Jesus is not dead. He has been raised from the dead. Though the angel tells them not to be afraid, they still are but some joy is beginning to well up in them too. And then they see Jesus himself, and they are afraid in a new way. You remember when Jesus calmed the storm? The disciples looked at him and they were afraid of him. Even after the storm calmed down, after he did this miracle, they looked at him and they're afraid of him. That's just a glimmer of what these women were feeling now at their first encounter with the risen Jesus. It says they worshiped him. 